Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Ibis World. What we're going to cover today is how to access Ibis World, what's in it, how to cite it, and some other sources of information. We're going to start on the Orange Coast College website. I'm going to scroll down to top searches and click on library. From here, I'm going to click databases A to Z. This is going to give you a listing of all of the databases that OCC has access to. So IBIS World starts with I, so we're just going to scroll down to I and click on IBIS World right here. At this point, if you're off campus, it will ask you to log in. If you're on campus, it's just going to take you right to the database. When you're here, um, you'll know you're in the right place if you have a client relationship manager. Um, if you do not see that um, or you see some other screen other than this, it means that you may have accessed this a different way. Uh, make sure that you go the way that I told you to through the library website. Unfortunately, if you were to come at this from a different way by, say, Googling or clicking on a link somewhere else, um, it may not take you to our version of this particular website. Um, this is information that is not available freely on the web and for that reason OCC pays for you to have access to this but in order for the website to know that you are our student you need to come from the library just as I just showed you. This is actually a very easy database to search. You're just going to type in the name of the industry that you're looking for. So if I was doing something on fast food I would just do fast food restaurants and you can see it's already suggesting things. So I see it suggested something that's exactly what I want. I'm just going to click on that. Here's the report. Um, it doesn't look like much when you first scroll through. There's some information here, but not a lot. But most of the information is actually over here on the side under these different links. Um, you can click through the links if you want. So for example, if you click industry at a glance, it's going to give you a whole bunch of uh, different general information about the industry, including a SWOT analysis. Um, industry performance is going to cover things like um, what the consumer spending is, um, what other things might affect the performance, the current performance um, in chart form. Um, all of these charts can be uh, downloaded by clicking the hamburger menu on the side, and you can do that as a picture, which is a PNG file, or as data itself, as, which is a CSV, and you would open that up with Excel. Industry Outlook is going to give you um, a summary of the industry and where it, it's uh, supposed to be going. These reports are written by business analysts, so these are an expert take on what's going on with this particular industry. That means that this information is not freely available online, um, and you may find information that does not necessarily agree with another analyst's opinion. If we click products and markets, we're going to come up with um, the supply chain, um, segmentation, that sort of thing. Um, so very much more focused on what the actual product is. The competitive landscape is going to tell you how hard it is to have a business in this particular industry and what challenges you might face. Major companies is going to cover the major companies that are in that particular industry. Now you'll see here it says there are no major players in this industry. This particular industry is uh, very uh, crowded with many many different players so because of that um, there's no major player uh, based on the definitions that they use however you can go down and it will say other players and it will give you the biggest companies like Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, um, Domino's, McDonald's etc. So you can use that to find competitors potential competitors for your your own business. Operating conditions are going to tell you what you need to operate the business and what things you might want to consider. And key statistics are just various statistics and data that you might use to uh, make decisions about uh, entering this industry. Now there are two very convenient things that you can use to make this a little easier. 
if you click here where it says download options, you can actually download a PDF of the whole report. Um, that might be a little easier for you to read rather than clicking around. You can also click in this box where it says search within the report and you can type in a word like say competitors and click enter and it will show you where that particular word pops up and you can click right on it to get whatever wherever that word showed up. Now when you use any source for a college paper you do need to cite it. Um, these particular reports do require a little bit of uh, special citing. Um, I found a website for you that does it accurately. Um, it's guides.library.psu.edu uh, slash APA Quick Guide slash business and you'll see here where it says cite business reports and it has Ibis World. This is the author, the date, the title of the report, the report number, the day that you looked at it, and from Ibis World database. Okay, and you can actually see the author and the date and the title and the report number all right here. So this is the only little portion that you need for your citation. If you have other information that you need to find out that's not covered by Ibis World, um, we do have a special guide set up for you. And what we're going to do is go to Orange Coast College. Um, we're going to go back to the library. We're going to go over where it says instruction and research help. And we're going to scroll down a little bit where it says research guides. And you'll see here there is a guide called business market research. When you click on that and you click key resources, you'll see industry information can be um, found in these different places. And Ibis World is your very first link here, and it should be your very first stop. But if you can't find everything you need, there are these other places to look as well. If you need help, please contact me, Lori Cassidy, uh, at lcassidy at occ.cccd.edu or ask any of our friendly OCC librarians.